Uh, hey, welcome to a new video. Uh, it's good to talk to you guys again. You guys would probably be wondering, hey, where the heck are you and why are there no videos? Thanks for asking that question. I appreciate the question. Um, it's been seven days, I think, almost a week since I uploaded a video and it is, it's for a couple reasons. I don't want to make any excuses. I just been lazy as shit. I've been pretty inspirationless for videos. Um, so I want to talk you guys through the last week and what happened or what didn't happen and you know basically um, What the deal is with this channel and uh, because I'm quitting you now. Nah, I'm just kidding. Relax. I'm not I'm not quitting uh, Okay, relax everything will back, be back to normal before you know it, but um, Yeah, I've been pretty inspirationless the last couple of days just because uh, my training hasn't been going very well because of the you know, I had several you know issues again um, it's definitely not good, but let me talk to you guys through it. Um, first of all, happy new years. I hope you had a great time, um, with your friends or whatever you did to celebrate happy the new year. Uh, we're 2017. This is the year that I'm going to work, uh, my living butt off. Um, and if that might sound dumb since I haven't uploaded in six days, but I've been really active on, on everything else like Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram. So, uh, if you don't follow me on there, go follow me on there because I post that on there uh, daily. Second of all, I need a haircut. Do you see this? Like, is th this is not even... Hey. Dude, it's not normal. You know, I need a haircut too. I'm going to get that tomorrow. Also, I just sent out all the shaker cups uh, signed to the people that want them. Um, I did the first five people uh, who sent me an email got the uh, shaker. Um... I spent 60 bucks on sending those. It's crazy expensive. I thought it would be less expensive, but I don't give a shit. So yeah, it was kind of expensive, 60 bucks to send five shakers out. But honestly, I don't really give a shit about that because for me, uh, it's no problem to spend money on that. So um, I hope you all get your stuff. I really hope you all get your stuff. So I, I trained on, I think it was the third or the second, the second, uh, I think it was the second of January. Um, I went and did some shoulders and arms and I did some abs at the end. Now you guys know that I had this lower back thing a couple of weeks ago, actually, or even like a month ago. And I didn't feel anything at all anymore. I was good. You know, I was perfect. Nothing, no pain, nothing. I was good. So I did some abs and when I was done with abs and I reached down f to get my shaker, something snapped in my back again like nothing snapped but it was like so much pain man i was, was i was so tight and i'm just this is the problem with me this is my problem right now after four years of training this is the first ever time that i am just getting stuff after stuff after stuff because and it's it makes so much sense now i think about it it's just super dumb on my on my part that i never realized this is that i never stretched enough I'm super, super tight. Maybe I've given my body a little bit um, too little of the time to recover since I do, I train six times a week, and the seventh day I play soccer for 90 minutes, which is pretty, which is pretty intense as well. You know, um, to play, um, it's very, it's definitely different. So when you train legs twice a week, when you train hamstring twice a week, when you train everything else twice a week, especially the legs. Um, and you, you play soccer on Sundays as well for 90 minutes, it's very hard on your body to recover from that. So I probably need more time to recover for, you know, weight training. Your your muscles get so tight that um, if you don't give them enough time to recover and you don't stretch at all e either, they, they would just become so tight that an injury happens just like that, you know? Um, and that's my problem. The lower back is connected to the hamstring, to the glutes, um, to other parts of the back, to like the side of your hip, all the muscles there are connecting there. And and if they are very, very tight, an injury is very easy to get or like something like with your lower back, it's very easy to get that way. Um, so what I've been doing the last week, and I'm dead serious, I'm dead serious. I haven't been going to the gym. I, I went today for the first time uh, again because I felt really, uh, I felt okay again. I didn't do any crazy things. I didn't do anything of, with my lower back, um, I stretched, 
a fuck ton before, uh, but I've been pretty much the last week, I've been stretching every single day, like twice a day. Like in the morning, I try to stretch for like 20 minutes. And then before I, if I go training, I do stretch before, stretch after. And before I go to bed, I always hop on this massage ball. Let me find it actually. I can't really find the other one, but I have this ball and I just lay on pressure points on tight muscles in my body, my hamstring, my glutes, even my back a little bit. And it just releases a lot of tension that I build up in my body. Um, so I've been doing that a lot. I've been stretching. I've been trying to get more flexible because obviously it's better when you're more flexible because, you know, weight training, very tight. Everything is very, very tight. So you want to loosen it up. Also, uh, drinking a lot of water helps a lot too uh, to flush out the system. But I've been doing that for a while now. So that's been going really well. Um, but that's just one of my issues, man. I didn't spend enough time stretching and taking care of my muscle to recover, which is not good, which is a, a mistake of mine. And I'm just paying uh, for that mistake now, um, which is totally, it sucks right now, but um, I see a lot of positivity in it because one, you guys are never going to make that mistake ever because you guys learned from me that you don't do that. You don't forget about those things. It's very important. Second of all, this is a lesson learned for me as well. Like I will never ever neglect stretching ever again because I know how much it sucks now. For the last three months I've been training, like I haven't had a good training, um, which sucks a lot. I have been making progress. I feel like I'm getting smaller. I feel, I feel just weak and it sucks. Um, it sucks a lot actually. Uh, it just sucks so much and I get, this, this is all my head, you know? I tried to, I'll, I'll try to do like gaming videos and stuff as well if you guys want to see that or it's different stuff if you want you guys want to see that I don't even want to upload start uploading I've been just been lazy with it it's not good so um, yeah that's pretty much it very uh, interesting times for me to say the least but thank you all so much for watching the video and I'll talk to you guys in the next one deuces there was a double dab deuces